got a pattern which is going to be a right angle triangle but this time it is going to be inverted right angle triangle. What do I mean by inverted right angle triangle? The one which we have discussed till now, we have discussed a pattern of this sort. In this pattern, we have said that R is going to control the rows and C is going to control the columns. R was stated as 1 to N and C was varying from 1 to R. So, the value of C was varying from 1 to R every time and R was changing from 1 to N. Now, this was the normal right angle triangle. What if, if I ask you to generate a pattern of this sort? Suppose, if I ask you to do it for 4 rows, I want to generate a right angle triangle which is still a left aligned but this is going to be an inverted right angle triangle. What changes am I supposed to do in this particular part? So, observe this particular part. For a while, let us keep it on the other side. Suppose if I tilt it on the other side, if I tilt this particular part on the other side, this will have the same sort. Now, what it is, you hold this particular pattern at the edge of this and then invert this particular pattern, hold it at the bottom, take one end and drop it on the other side. So, if you drop it on the other side, the pattern will be something of this sort. So, when I hold it at this place, your R is what? N. And then it went on the other side, it went on the other side, it means that R will go to 1. And within this, your C was still controlled. C is going to be still 1 to R itself. So, it means that whenever a triangle gets inverted, which loop has to be changed? Your C loop will be still as it is. The only loop which has to be changed is your R. So, hence you said for R equals to 1. 2n for this. Now, if I am supposed to do this part, then how do I do this? So, here your r will go to what? r will go with n. And this time, r is going from a higher value to a lower value. Hence, r greater than equals to 1, r minus minus. So, since your r is going to have a value from n to 1, so set r as n go towards 1. So, the condition will be greater than equals to since I am supposed to reduce the row values. So, I will say r minus minus. Within this, the entire value of c and of the print of instruction will be still same. Let us look at the entire code for this. So, as usual, I will not write the entire code. We will just say how exactly the values of r and c has to be written. I will write the loop stru structures at this place. So, I will say for r equals to n r greater than equals to 1 r minus minus within this I will say for c equals to 1 c less than equals to r c plus plus within this since I am supposed to print asterisk so I will say print f asterisk and as usual I will say print f slash n on the last and then end this. Now if I ask you to execute this particular code if I am supposed to do it for say n equals to say 4 rows. Now, virtually follow the instructions. Do say the values of r and c every time when I take a pause. So, that will have a virtual interaction. Are you ready for that? Yes. Let us start with this. So, n is 4. r equals to 4. 4 greater than equals to 1? True. Say that along with me. r is set with 4. 4 greater than equals to 1, true. True, set c equals to 1. 1 less than equals to r. What is the value of r? r is 4 because r is 4. So, 1 less than equal to 4, true. True, print an asterisk. Print an asterisk. Go back, c changes to 2. 2 less than equals to 4, true. Print one more asterisk. Go back, c changes to 3. 3 less than equals to 4, true. Print one more asterisk c is 4, 4 less than equals 4, true, print one more asterisk, c is 5, stop. Then change the value of r because when you go back, you will get the cursor next line, go back, r becomes 3. When r is 3, c again starts with what? 1, 1 less than equal to 3, true, print asterisk, go back, c plus plus, make it as 2, 2 less than equal to 3, true, true, print asterisk, go back, c changes to 3. 3 less than equal to 3, true, print asterisk. 
go back c becomes 4 stop change r to 2 because r minus minus will be 2 2 greater than equals 1 true true in the sense c will be 1 2 and r to print 2 asterisk when c change to 3 false r is not reduced to 1 go back 1 greater than equals 1 true c will be 1 1 less than equal to 1 true print an asterisk 2 false go back r becomes 0 0 greater than equal to 1 false false in sense no asterisk so we have virtually generated this particular pattern so we have now generated a pattern which is in the inversion whenever there is an inversion of any right angle triangle in that case the loop which is going to change is only r loop not the entire structure keep the c loop as it is your r will go from n to 1 and c will go from 1 to r again you can have numbers you can have alphabets in this particular pattern if you have an alphabet or a number don't change the loops just set the value of k observe the first column at this particular place and check what is that print that particular character and then observe the next character if it is changing then think whether it is incrementing or decrementing depending on that you will say k plus plus or k minus minus this is how we generate these patterns on the uh, patterns with asterisks patterns with alphabets patterns with digits this is an inversion now what if if i am supposed to merge these two inversions i'll have one more pattern where i'll merge these two inversions suppose if i say that i'm supposed to generate a pattern of four rows in this fashion first four rows as it is four rows now i'm supposed to do it for three rows now this is for four rows where the pattern gets vertically mirrored vertically mirrored at fourth row so this is r equals to one two four the next one so if i do this this will be r equal to three to one so it means that i'm supposed to generate this particular program using two separate patterns this is the first pattern and this is my second pattern observe this code i'll have for r equals to 1 r less than equals to n r plus plus within this for c equals to 1 c less than equals to r c plus plus since i have only one instruction with c loop you can ignore these curly brackets i can say printf asterisk printf slash n is it for the entire pattern no is it only for the upper part let's write the lower image now the lower image will be r equals to now see if it ends up at 4 then it ends up it starts with 3 if it ends up at 5 it ends up it starts with 4 if it ends up at 7 it ends up at it starts with 6 so it means that if it ends up at n this will start with n minus 1 r greater than equals to 1 r minus minus the rest all contents will be still as it is at this place you can have still the same c loop and then continue with the applicable print of instruction. So, whenever we think of merging patterns, you are supposed to write the program twice. A R loop with C, a R loop with C. The first will start with the 1 to N, the second will start from N minus 1 and ends up at 1. Do have a close look at the curly brackets. The curly brackets in this case are only for the R loop. And here again one more pair of curly brackets. Why a C loop has been not placed with a curly bracket? If you remember you have only one instruction with a loop. If there is only one instruction then we will not use these curly brackets. This is how we generate patterns which are merged. So do remember when it is an inversion n to 1. When it is merging twice the program has to be done. 1 to n and n minus to 1. Thank you.